Well, with um, Cobtober just around the corner, um, I thought I'll show you guys my favorite cob bait. This bait is um, predominantly the first bait that I always throw for a cob. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. This is the dangle that I use. Um, it's the Dacron dangle that I made in a previous video. I'll share the link in, in the description underneath. So you guys can just click um, on that link and you can watch the video on how I make these dingle dangles. Okay. Firstly, when, when, when your chocker is, is, is open like that, what I do is I cut two small strips of chocker. That's two, two almost identical strips. And then one long thick strip, like a thick strip like this. Then what I love is that that's the ink sack. So just take about half of it, put it on the side, chuck it away. And you'll see how I don't beat these strips that I that I add on. All that I do is about two thirds of my strip goes onto the dangle with the two loose ends facing upwards dangling. And I just tie them on. Just a quick pick up the turns, snap it off, and there you get a good beating. Then what I actually do is, then comes the ink sack. Just use the knife, separate it a bit, and I put that ink sack into my chocker. What I do now is just the top end, just hook it through once, then I just wrap it around my dingle dangle all the way to the bottom and then all the way up again. Then just this large piece, there's about a centimeter or two centimeters left, I just hook it through, put it down. Now the important part this bait is, is is how you tie it with your cotton. I like to use latex cotton because it's nice and stretchy. Don't tie it too too fast. All that I do is almost like a crisscross fall apart. Not too tight. I want the bait to be soft. Just push that up to so make sure that your cup is out and another couple of wraps. on the top just a bit to secure it. And what this does is it keeps the bait soft and once you once it hits the water chocker when it's beaten then it actually expands and it looks totally bigger in the water than it is and and then you have some some um, tentacles to add some movement a lot of flavor in the bait nice and aerodynamic I'm going to use my dangle, nice and aerodynamic, so if I can clip my bait, it's going to travel straight in the uh, slip line, slipstream of my sinker. Okay. Okay guys, so that's it for my cold bait. Um, you can experiment with, with that bait. You can either add the, the insides of the, of the chocker, beat it, wrap it around it, um, or you can add some sardine belly to it. You can add some stripey fillet to it, mullet fillet, just play around. You can add a, a clean chocker, just white. Um, just, just my preferred bait, my first cast always, I like to use the insect. And don't forget, if you like this video, give, please give it a thumbs up. Um, click on my channel, please subscribe, um, not to miss out on any future videos. Okay, lekker. Like